Hello there, everyone. Today, we're going to read Tuesday, but today's book is without words for the most part, and that is because we are going to make up our own story in our minds and or infer what we think is happening based on the pictures. So I may pause longer than normal for the pictures so that you can think about that. Tuesday by David Wesner. Notice the cool drawings. It's been well loved, as you can see. Tuesday evening, around 8 o'clock. As you can see, we're clearly in a pond or something like that. I'm guessing based on the fact that there was frogs in the first picture that we're going to be having some frogs now that we're in the pond, too. Oh, look at that. Miss Larson was right. Flying saucer lily pads. Remember, it's Tuesday around 8 o'clock. And these frogs are having a lot of fun. Maybe way too much. And they're coming into the neighborhoods. I wonder what kind of havoc they're going to wreak. Eleven twenty-one p.m. <laughs> okay, so notice his face. You can't actually see them, I don't think, but maybe he thinks like, "Hmm, I feel like I heard something strange." Pauses to take a bite out of his sandwich and is like, "Huh." As you see, the frogs are flying outside his window. Oh no! They went through a clothesline. He's like, I can't see! This guy made a cape like a superhero. What a smart frog. Hmm. I think this lady must have fallen asleep watching her television and the frogs decided to take over. Control of the television, that is. Notice he's using his tongue. All right. 4.38 a.m. <laughs> he's like, do to do do to do Oh, no! As he hightails it out of there and the dog's like, come on! And then they all just start running together, because why not? It's a full moon. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Oh, no, look at The lily pads lost their flying power. They're like, oh, gosh. Look at Geronimo. And then they got to hop back to the pond. He's like, oh, fooey. That was so much more fun than this. Okay, so the frogs are back in the pond. People in the neighborhood they were just in wake up in the morning and they're like, uh, why are there lily pads all over the sidewalk and street? Then there's this guy, remember sandwich guy? He's like, I swear I saw something flying in the air. The detective and the dog are like, hmm. Although the dog's like, I know what happened. Okay, you ready? Next Tuesday at 7.58 p.m. Oh boy. I wonder what animal that is. We see a barn, okay, so it's a farm animal probably is what I'm thinking. I see part of a head, but I can't really tell. Or maybe that's a rear end, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Oh my goodness! What animal was next? 
Every Tuesday, something magical happens and animals fly around the city. So, Tuesday, one of the best books, even though there's not a lot of words, because you get to make your own story, which is even more fun, I think. Hope you guys are all doing well. Miss you. Bye.